JSF is a framework which can be used to design web applications. Web application is one type of enterprise application. Fine. To design, before going to understand JSF clearly, first we need to understand what is web application. That web application is one type of enterprise application. So first we need to understand what exactly the meaning of enterprise application. After completion of this enterprise application and its development and its level of the enterprise applications, we need to understand the types of the enterprise applications. In general, there are two types of enterprise applications there now. What are the two types of enterprise applications? The first one will be like web applications and the next one will be distributed applications. The first one will be web applications and the next one will be distributed applications. So here we have one content here now. One question will be raised. What exactly the difference between web application and a distributed application? Where we have some number of differences here now. First of all, we will understand what exactly the difference between web application and a distributed application. Number of differences are available. Distributed application. Right, come for this web application part. The first difference will be web application is a subset of distributed applications. That means web application is one type of distributed application. But some differences are available. So strictly speaking, web application is one type of distributed application, but still some differentiations are available in between these web applications and distributed application. What are the various differences? Can know? The first difference will be web application is a server side application that will be existed at server machine only. That means this entire application logic will be existed at server side only. So existed at a server mission this is one thing if we come for this distributed applications distributed application will be distributed over at a client mission and at server mission distributed application will be distributed over at a client mission and a server mission in the case of web application entire application will be existed at server side only entire application will be distributed at server side only but in the case of distributed application, application logic will be distributed over client side and as well as at which side can know, server side can know. So we can identify distributed over client and server. Distributed over client and server. This is called as distributed application. Right, next one, after completion of it, the second one will be to design web applications. We have a set of technologies called as web technologies. To design web applications, we are going to use a separate set of technologies. They are called as which one? Web technologies. What are the various web technologies we are able to use there now? In general, we are able to use, like for example, CGI is one thing. Next one will be servlets is another one, like JSPs and so on. Number of technologies we are able to use. To design web applications, we will use a set of technologies that the technologies are which one web technologies what are the various web technologies here number one cgi number two servlets number three jsps and so on number of technologies are available in the same way to design distributed applications we will use another set of technologies they are called as distributed technologies to design distributed applications, we will use another set of technologies. They are called as which one here? Distributed technologies. What are the various distributed technologies here now? First one will be like a socket programming. Logit socket programming. This is one thing. Next one, after completion of it, next one will be RMI is one of the distributed technology. After this RMI, we are able to use which one next one? like this core bomb this is also one type of distributed technology after this core bomb we will go for which one like ezbs is another one after completion of this ezbs the next one will be which one web services this is also one type of distributed technology so a set of technologies will be used to design web applications they are called as web technologies what are the various examples for this web technologies here? CGI, servlets, JSPs, and so on. 
In the same way, to design distributed applications, we are going to use a set of technologies that are technologies or distributed technologies. What are the various examples for these distributed technologies like socket programming and like RMI? Next one is core bomb, next one is EZBs, and next one will be which one can you know web services clearly know. So these are the various uh, like uh, technology was differentiation between web applications and distributed applications clearly. Next one, after completion of which, what are the another differences between web applications and distributed applications can know? Right, the next point will be which one? In general, there are two types of servers are available. One is web servers, another one is application servers. In outset, two types of servers are available. Web servers are available, application servers are available, clearly. What exactly web servers are able to do? What exactly application servers are able to do? Web servers are able to execute only web applications, but application servers are able to execute any type of Java J2E applications there now. Web servers are able to execute only web applications, but application servers are able to execute both web applications and as well as which one distributed applications clearly now. So here what is my point here now? Web applications will be executed by using which one here? Distributed applications here. Web applications will be executed by using both web servers and as well as which one application servers. Web applications will be executed by using both web servers and application servers. But distributed applications will be executed by using only application servers. Web servers cannot be used for distributed applications. Only application servers will be used to execute which one can know distributed applications can know. So why? What is the requirement of this one? In general, web applications may not require any like middleware services. In general, web applications may not require any middleware services. But whereas, distributed applications must require some middleware services. So, who are going to provide middleware services by default? Our web servers will not provide middleware services directly. By default, middleware services are not provided by these web servers. Whereas, application servers will provide middleware services. So, as we require middleware services in the distributed application, always we are going to use which one can know? Application servers. So, web servers are not providing middleware services by default. So, we cannot use web servers for which one can know? Like a distributed applications now. Web application should not require any middleware services, whereas distributed application should require middleware services can. Because of this reason only, web applications will be executed by using web servers and as well as which one? Application servers. But distributed applications will be executed by using only application servers. We are unable to use web servers to execute which one can know? Distributed applications clearly now. So this is one of the difference we need to identify. Then what about the next one here? Try to observe this point now. Web application is a collection of web components. Web application is a collection of web components. What are the various web components here clearly known? Like we can understand, like servlet is web component. JSP is another web component. CGI is also another component here known. So web application is a collection of web components. That web components will be executed by using only web container. See, if you go for any servers there, number of containers are available. One is web container, another one is like a distributed container, that means EJB container now. In general, two types of containers are available. All the web components will be executed by using web containers, but uh, distributed components like EJB components are available, that EJB components are executed by using which one can know, like this uh, EJB container can know. So in general, what I am telling here, web containers will be executed. Web, web application is a collection of web components. That web components will be executed by using web containers. And a distributed application is a collection of some EJB components there. That EJB components will be executed by using which one? Distributed containers like EJB containers care now. So here we can identify web applications will be executed by using web containers. That means web components will be executed by using web containers. But whereas distributed application is a collection of distributed components like EJB components that will be executed by using a separate container. That container will be which one can know? EJB container clearly know. This is a clear cut information what I am telling now. Next one. After completion of this one. <coughs> Java program is available at 
Java program is available at only server side. Java program is available at server side. No Java program at a client side. No Java program at a client side. Client is not a Java program. So Java program is available at only server side. Java program is not available at client side. But in the case of this is a distributed application, a separate Java program available at client side, Java program at a client side, as well as another Java program, another Java program available at available at server side. So what I am telling clearly. Client program is a Java program, server program is also a Java program in the case of distributed applications. But in the case of web applications, only Java program is available at server mission, no Java program is going to be existed at our client mission here now. This is another difference we need to identify. So another thing is which one? In the case of web applications, a separate Java program will be maintained at a server side. No Java program will be maintained at a client side. But in the case of distributed application, both sides, at a client side and at server side, a separate separate Java programs will be ma maintained. So client side a program, Java program is required. And server side also another Java program is required clearly. So this is the basic difference between this web application and a distributed application clearly. No? Next one, one more difference we need to identify. What about this next difference here? We can identify the sixth one. We can understand web applications will provide services for only web clients. Web applications will provide services for only web clients. What are the various web clients you know? We can also, we can provide browser, web browser is one of the web server, is one of the web browser you know? For only web client, web applications will provide services you know? But if we go for, these are distributed applications you now, your client may be anything. In the case of web applications, client is only browser. For only web browser, for only web client, it able to provide some services can now, web applications can. But in the case of distributed applications, distributed application will provide services for any type of client now. Your client is not fixed in the case of distributed applications. In the case of distributed applications, kindly is variable can now. What are the various clients are available can now? A simple Java program is acting as a client. Maybe an applet is acting as which one? A client. After this applet, maybe a servlet is acting as a client. Next one, a JSP program is acting as a client. Like number of clients are available. In the case of web applications, only browser is acting as which one? You know, a client. This is a client now. Browser is only the client. That means web client. For only web clients, we are able to provide services now. But in the case of distributed application, client may be anything. Maybe a Java program, maybe an applet, maybe a servlet, or maybe a JSP, and so on. Or which one can know as a clients? In the case of which one can know web applications clearly know. So overall, these are the various differences between web applications and distributed applications. There now, we can identify what are the various differences between web applications and distributed applications. Number one, web application is a server side application available at only server mission. Distributed application is a program, is a application that will be distributed over client mission and server mission. But before this one fundamental point is which one? Web application is one type of distributed application. Because here we are using client server architecture. If we design any application by using client server architecture, then it is called as which one you know, distributed application you know. So here web application is also one type of distributed application, but that entire application will be distributed over which one? Only server mission. But in the case of distributed application, application logic will be distributed between client and server gear. At a client side, some application logic is available. At server side, some other application logic is available. Both are executed parallelly. Both are having distributed communication. Client is sending request to server. Server is executing something. Server is generating some response to the respective client gear. This is called as distributed application clearly. No? Next one, second difference is which one? To design web applications, we are going to use a set of technologies. They are which one here? Like web technologies. What are the various web technologies are available? Like CGI, servlets, and JSPs, and all these things are available now. In the same way, distributed applications. 
to design distribute applications we are going to use a set of technologies that set of technologies are which one like distributed technologies what are the various distributed technologies are available like socket programming next one is rmi remote method invocation next one is corba common object request to broker agent then after that ejbs enterprise java beans room next one will be web services can see by seeing these web services we may misunderstand this is for the sake of web applications can but this is not for the sake of web applications this is strictly as one of the uh, distributed technology you know web services is not at all web application development web services is for the sake of which one distributed application development next one after completion of which now we need to go for third one here now so web application is a collection of see web application will be executed by using both web servers and application servers but whereas distributed applications will be executed by using only which servers can you know application servers in general there are two types of servers in outside web servers are available application servers are available web servers will execute only web applications but application servers will execute both web applications and as well as which one can you know distributed applications can you know to execute web applications we are going to use both web servers and application servers but to execute distributed applications we are going to use only application servers we are not going to use web servers can now why what is the reason for it now distributed applications must require some middleware services can that middleware services are not provided by web servers but middleware services will be provided by only application servers because of this reason only we can conclude web applications will be executed by using web servers and as well as application servers but distributed applications will be executed by using servers next one web application is a collection of web components like servlets and jsps and ccs can no? to execute all these web applications all these web components we are going to use a separate container that container will be web containers clearly next one distributed application is a collection of vjb components to execute this vjb components we are going to use a separate container that container will be vjb container if we go for any application server where two types of containers will be available one is web container to execute web parts other one is like a ejb container to execute which one can no ejb components can no after this now in the case of this web application only java program will be exist at server side no java program will be exist at client side can but if we go for distributed application a separate java program will be available at a client side another separate java program will be available at server side both the programs will be executed at both the machines parallelly by that we are able to get some kind of request and response kind of approach here clearly you know next one after that web applications will provide services for only web servers only web web clients what are the various web clients can you know browser is acting as which one can you know web client for that only web applications will provide services can you know but in the case of distributed applications distributed applications will provide services for any type of clients can you know in the case of distributed application client is not fixed we can use a small java program as a client we can use an applet as a client we can use a servlet as client we can use a jsp as a client if you want to use structs is a framework there where action class is acting as which one client for our distributed application if we use jsf as a framework there where the like this managed bin is acting as which one is a client for the respective distributed application can on the base of our application on the base of which type of application we design where we need to identify what exactly the client we are able to use can on so these are the various differences between clearly web applications and distributed applications clearly